Do you know how the data landscape of 2024 looks like? Well, you're in the right place. In this video, we are discussing the top 5 data keywords that are not just buzzworthy but are set to redefine the entire game. These keywords are the keys to unlocking a new era of possibilities and you don't want to be left behind, right? But hold on, we're not just throwing words at you, nope. We are diving deep into each keyword and explaining exactly why they matter. You might have already heard about these keywords. The thing is, now is the time. These are going to pick up steam. Hey data explorers, welcome to the channel. My name is Madhur. Let's get started. The first keyword on the list is Augmented Analytics. As per Gartner, Augmented Analytics is the use of enabling technologies such as machine learning and AI to assist with data preparation, insight generation and insight explanation to augment how people explore and analyze data. Confused? Let's take an example. Imagine you work for an e-commerce company and you want to analyze the sales performance of a particular product category over the past year. In a traditional analytics scenario, you would spend a considerable amount of time gathering data from different sources like sales databases, customer feedback, and marketing reports. Data preparation would be a manual process, and creating a report or dashboard using business intelligence tool is a time-consuming task. After all that effort, you would finally identify some insights about the product category's performance. Now, let's fast forward to the world of augmented analytics. The Augmented Analytics platform automates data preparation by connecting to various sources and using machine learning to clean and process the data. The platform then takes the wheel for analysis. Machine learning algorithms identify trends, correlations and outliers automatically. And here's the cool part. You can interact with the data using natural language. Just ask questions and the system provides instant answers and insights. Augmented analytics is like having a data superhero, automating processes, making data accessible, and proactively discovering insights. It's a game changer in the world of analytics. A second keyword on the list is active metadata. Before we proceed, let's define what metadata is. Metadata refers to the information about data. For instance, if you have an audio file, its metadata can include details such as duration, file format, title, and so on. With that understanding, let's see what active metadata is. Gartner defines active metadata as a set of capabilities that enable continuous access and processing of metadata supporting ongoing analysis. In simpler terms, active metadata is not static, but ever-evolving metadata that changes with time and use of the data itself. Let's bring this to life with a real-world example, something we all use on daily basis, our song streaming app. When you open any streaming app, the platform's algorithm dives into various types of metadata for each song, yonder, mood, tempo. It uses these active metadata to suggest similar songs or artist as soon as you listen to a song or play one of your playlists. The app also analyzes artist release date and popularity metadata to auto-classify music into playlists. These playlists are constantly updated based on what you and others are listening to. That's the magic of active metadata. It helps create personalized playlists, categorizes the music library, and provides intelligent recommendations. Active metadata isn't just about improving data quality, governance, accessibility, and security. It transforms the way you use your data. Third on the list is the keyword data mesh. A data mesh is an architectural framework built on distributed data sources and decentralized ownership. In this model, Organizations need not bring data together in a data lake. Instead, multiple data sources from different lines of business are exposed and integrated for analytics. I believe we need another example here. Imagine 
your company has invested in a central data lake and set up a data team to manage the operations. Quick wins were there, but with growing demand, your central data team became a bottleneck. Timely data-driven decisions are crucial, but questions related to understanding the impact of change became a struggle. The data team wants to answer all these questions quickly, but they are stuck fixing broken data pipelines and dealing with operational changes. They are surrounded by domain teams, CEOs, CFOs, and marketing teams, all with information needs. And that's the challenge data teams across various industries are facing today. Data Mesh can be a solution for this problem. It involves decentralizing the data team and transferring the ownership of managing and provisioning data to domain teams like sales, marketing, etc. Each domain team is responsible for providing access to their data to other domain teams. And this is how a mesh is created for data access across the organization. This approach offers two benefits. Firstly, the distribution of data requests prevents a single team from becoming a bottleneck. Secondly, the team managing the data has a better understanding of it and can easily provide context when it comes to interpreting it. To conclude, Data Mesh is not a panacea for all data architecture problems, but it is a good way of breaking down the monolithic barriers, empowering data teams, make them agile and scale them independently. Fourth on the list is the keyword data as a service or DAS. So what exactly is data as a service? Well, it's a strategic approach to data management that leverages the power of the cloud to deliver a range of data related services over a network connection. Think of it as your one-stop shop for data storage, integration, processing, and analytics, all conveniently delivered from the cloud. Now you might be thinking, how is this different from software as a service or SaaS? While SaaS focuses on delivering applications over the network, eliminating the need for local installations, DAS takes it a step further. It outsources the heavy lifting of data storage, integration, and processing operations to the cloud. We are in the era of low-cost cloud storage, abundant bandwidth, and cloud platforms specifically engineered for rapid, large-scale data management and processing. This has catapulted DAS into the spotlight, making it just as practical and beneficial as its older sibling, SaaS. Now let's talk about the perks. Why should you should be excited about data as a service? First up, it requires minimal setup time and is more cost efficient. We can set up the entire DAS solution in minutes and we don't need big teams to support them. The tools and services on DAS platforms are automatically managed and kept up to date by the DAS providers. Next, it is incredibly scalable and flexible. You can set up and configure the products to exactly suit your needs and scale them as you grow. So there you have it. Data as a service is making managing your data in the cloud a cakewalk. The last term on the list is data democratization. So what exactly is data democratization? Of course, it's not about politics. It's about making data accessible and understandable to everyone in an organization, regardless of their role. Previously, data was accessible only to a select group of people such as IT professionals or data analysts, creating a power imbalance. Data democratization challenges this by making data more accessible to a broader range of people, including decision makers, frontline workers, and customers. Now you might be thinking, why does this matter? Let's explore the importance of data democratization with a relatable example. Imagine you are at a pizza shop. Traditionally, only the chef had access to the kitchen and decided what toppings go on the pizza. Now think of the data as pizza ingredients. In a non-democratized data environment, only a select few, let's call them data chefs, have access to the data kitchen. They decide what insights are served, 
and others have limited choices. Now let's see what are the benefits and how this pizza shop scenario changes with the introduction of data democratization. Empowerment is the first benefit. Just like giving customers the power to choose their pizza toppings, data democratization empowers individuals across the organization to access and utilize data. This means everyone can contribute to decision making. Collaboration is the second advantage. When everyone has access to the same ingredients, that is data, collaboration becomes seamless. Teams can work together, share insights, and create a collective understanding of the data landscape. Innovation is the third perk. Imagine a pizza shop where customers can suggest new topping combinations. Similarly, data democratization fosters a culture of innovation where individuals from different roles can contribute creative insights leading to new ideas and strategies. And there you have it, five data keywords that are set to reshape the data landscape in 2024. If you found this video informative, please do like and subscribe. And if you think there is a keyword that is important and I missed it, please do mention it in the comments below. Thanks for watching and until we meet next time, stay curious, stay data driven.